Carnegie La Memoir is without doubt the best known and most popular of Donizetti's operas. Its story is directly taken from Sir Walter Scott's novel, The Bride of Lammermoor. It is a simple and sorrowful tragedy that takes a deep hold upon the emotion. Donizetti found this libretto a most congenial one and invested his opera with several wonderfully beautiful melodies, at least one of which, the marvelous sex death, has achieved immortality. In the story, Lord Henry Ashton of Lammermoor, brother of Lucy, in order to retrieve his fallen fortune and extricate himself from a perilous position in which his participation in political movements has placed him, arranged a marriage between his sister and Lord Arthur Bucklaw. He, Lord Henry, is at this time ignorant of an attachment which exists between his sister Lucy and Sir Edgar Ravenswood, whose family has long been in a state of deadly enmity with his own. Sir Edgar, absent on an embassy to France to look after the interests of his native country, Scotland, dispatches many letters to his beloved Lucy. These letters are intercepted, and a forged paper, tending to show the infidelity of Sir Edgar, is shown to the bewildered maiden. Maddened by disappointed love and urged by the necessities of her brother, Lucy unwillingly consents to become the bride of Lord Arthur Bucklaw, who is already at the gates of the castle, invited by Lord Ashton, who never doubts of his success in bending her to his scheme. When Lucy has signed the marriage contract, Edgar of Ravenswood suddenly appears among the assembly. Having just returned from France, he has come to claim the hand of Lucy. He is too late, and after hasty and bitter words, he leaves the house. The burden of woe thus heaped upon the unfortunate Lucy is more than she can bear. Her mind is unhinged, and upon her wedding night, she murders her husband and dies herself, the victim of a disappointed love. Sir Edgar, overcome by these tragic events, goes to the tomb of his ancestors, determined also to end his life. It is at this point the record stops. He sings first his melody, wild flowers soon will shed their bloom, and then this equally famous aria, though to heaven from sorrow flying, in which he avows his intention of following his beloved Lucy even beyond the gates of death. The song ended, he plunges his pointer into his breast and expires.